In this video, we're going to evaluate this iterated integral. So we have the integral from 1 to 2, and then from x to 2x of y over x squared plus y squared dy dx. So because you see a dy here, we first have to integrate with respect to y. So we have y over x squared plus y squared. So we'll start by making a u substitution. We'll let u be equal to x squared plus y squared. Now we'll compute du. Now keep in mind when we're computing du, we're taking the derivative of both sides. And here we're treating x as a constant. So when you take the derivative of x squared, you get 0. So then here we'll get 2y dy. OK, so now we have to make this look like what's in our integral. So we have an extra 2. So let's go ahead and get rid of it by dividing both sides by 2. Let's write this as 1 half du. And that's equal to y dy. Also, in this problem, we have limits of integration. So because we made a u substitution, technically we're supposed to change them. So let's do things the right way, like pros, and change our limits. So let's see. First, when y is equal to x. So when y is equal to x, our u value is going to be, so I'm going to plug it in here. So it'll be x squared plus x squared. So u is going to be 2x squared. We have to turn our y limits into u limits. So when y is x, we end up with u equals x squared. Now we'll do the top limit of integration. So y equals 2x. It's kind of a fun problem, and it's a little bit different than a lot of the problems that you may have done uh, up until now. So again, taking this and plugging it in here, so we get u equals x squared plus, and then parentheses, 2x squared, beautiful stuff. So this is u equals x squared plus 4x squared. So that's going to give us u equals 5x squared. Good stuff. Yeah, we're in a good place now. So now let's go ahead and make the substitution. This is a pretty awesome problem. So this is equal to, so we have our outer limit of integration. So outer integral, rather, 1 to 2. And let's see. So y dy is going to get replaced with 1 half du. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, I'll go ahead and pull it out. So 1 half. Then we have the integral. And we're going, we were going from x to 2x. So now we're going from 2x squared to 5x squared. So this will be 2x squared, 5x squared. And then y dy, we said that was 1 half du. So we just get du over u. And then I'm going to put a bracket here for added clarity. And then we have our dx. Let me just pause here a moment and go over what we just did because it was pretty hardcore. So this y dy here, right here, let me circle it in this uh, purple. I guess it's a purple color, um, yeah, pinkish purple. Uh, became 1 half du. So that's that's here, 1 half and then du. And then the bottom piece is just u, so that's pretty easy. And then we changed our limits. x became um, two, 2x squared and 2x became 5x squared. Because before it was y equals x, now it's u equals 2x squared. So these are u limits of integration. All right, so let's go ahead and integrate this. So this is equal to, we still have our outer limit, 1 to 2 then this is going to give us an ln, right? ln absolute value of u. So it's 1 half ln absolute value of u. And I'm going to use a double bracket here for our limits of integration, the first one being 2x squared and the upper limit being 5x squared. And then we still have our du here. It's all about notation and taking your time in a problem like this. It's not a hard problem, uh, but you have to really, really think about what's going on in the notation. Just have to go kind of slow. So this is 1 to 2. So first we plug in the 5x squared. So we'll have uh, 1 half. Sorry, that should say dx. That's a mistake. I'm glad I caught that. Right? This 
is here. Boom. Good, good, good save. Ln 5x squared minus 1 half ln 2x squared. And then we still have parentheses, parentheses, and then the dx. The dx. So let's clean this up. This is equal to, I'm going to come over here. So 1 to 2. You can pull out the 1 half. I'll show every little step so you see it. And this is going to be ln. You can drop the absolute value because 5x squared is always going to be positive. All right, we're integrating from 1 to 2, so uh, it'll never be 0. So there's no issues, and it can never be negative. Minus ln. 2x squared bracket dx. Good stuff. This is equal to the integral from 1 to 2, 1 half. You can use the property of logs. Remember, if you have the natural log of a minus the natural log of b, that's equal to the natural log of a over b. So here it'll be the natural log. Uh, this is really cool. 5x squared over 2x squared. It just cleans up really, really nice. It's just like totally rigged. Like this problem is ridiculous. This is equal to the definite integral from 1 to 2. I really like this problem because it cleans up so nice. It's just like so perfect. You know, math is not always like that. This is not always so pretty. And when you integrate this, this is a number. That's the natural log of 5 halves. So 1 half times that is a number. So you're just going to get x. So it's 1 half ln 5 over 2 times x. And we're going from 1 to 2. Right? From 1 to 2. And we plug in the 2 first. So this is equal to, let me change color. So we get 1 half ln 5 halves. Actually, you can just leave this factored out like this. Plug in the 2 for the x. So you get 2. Subtract, plug in 1. Boom! 2 minus 1 is 1. So you just get 1 half ln 5 halves times 1, which is just 1 half natural log of 5 halves. And that is the correct answer. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Wow, over seven minutes. Um, I didn't think it would take that long. So uh, just a lot of really careful uh, notation. So yeah, that's it.